Good morning. Today is Friday, the last Friday in the month of June, in which would have been the last day of school where everybody would have been running through the hallways celebrating the last day of school of 2020. And this is uh, in front of Mark Garno right now where it's pretty quiet this morning. I have one student joining me this morning. Nelson Lee, uh, you are student council president this mm -hmm. year. Congratulations on that as well. Thank you. Yeah. A different year. Very much so. A very different year due to COVID and just how everything turned out at the end. This would have been your graduating year. You, yes, you're that's going to correct. U of T next year. Mm -hmm. How do you feel at this moment? I feel that it's going to be it's going to be different going into the new year. How everything's going to be online and remote, and just how there's no sense of closure without the lack of a commencement or prom this year. Yeah, you told me about commencement. So now commencement's going to be happening in the fall. That's correct. And commencement would have been yesterday. Yeah. Instead, yesterday, how did you tell your friends to celebrate the last day of school? You sent them some different uh, emails. Yeah, so I, I made these virtual cards for a lot of my friends, sort of just detailing the past four years of high school, how that went, and how grateful I am for their friendship over these past years, and to wish them the best of luck in their respective universities next year. COVID's taken lots away from you. Mm -hmm. A lot of celebrations, a lot yeah. of things. What has it given you? I think it's given me the sense of hope for this new, for the future because from what I see from our class of 2020 we have a lot of ideas for how to sort of fix the problems in our world because we've seen a lot of those in recent days and weeks such as climate change income inequality and racial justice I think I'm really hopeful for the things that we'll do in the future as we go into the real world and make a real difference the online learning is there mm -hmm. any recommendations you could give for online learning now I would say that it's it's really difficult to sort of infuse the same amount of motivation as you would in the classroom, but for online learning, just engaging students, making sure that they're on task is the best way to do it. And you were also telling me about elections for next year. Mm -hmm. What are you doing differently? So our student council, we're going to have elections in the fall to ensure that every student has an equal access and opportunity to run for student council office at our school. Because we want to ensure that because things are online at the moment, we don't want anyone to sort of be held back because of it due to any technology issues or just the amount of resources that they have. Yeah, and your plans for the summer, we were talking, you're mm. going to be that classic, graduate from yeah. high school, go do the Europe trip. Yeah. And now that's not going to happen. No, no. So originally my friends and I, we were going to go to Europe, do a whole trip through Spain, Italy, and Greece, but unfortunately we can't do that now. So I think we'll just resort to something along the lines of Google Maps, plopping ourselves down and trying to cook Mediterranean food on our, on our own. A lot of the times they say challenge makes you stronger, makes you uh, a stronger group of individuals. And you think the class of 2020 will be the strongest class going forward? I think we will be, and I think we are really resilient after all of this, just seeing sort of the differences in the world and to sort of see all the issues that we need to go into the real world and solve. Well, congratulations, heading off for engineering. That's correct. Uh, Frosh week? <laughs> we really don't know what that's going to look like. We don't know what it's going to look like, yeah. Yeah, but I wish you uh, congratulations, number one, mm -hmm. on your graduation, number Thanks. two, on the future, and you will never, ever be forgotten as the class of 2020. Yes, no one will ever. You are that class. Yeah. Thanks once again, Nelson. Thank We're you. We're going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television. Still lots more to come on the last day. Last hey, day of last school. Last day of school. <laughs> Woo!